What's up guys, it's Doll Matter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another Ill Will Press Foamy the Squirrel video. So this one we've got Go Green. Uh, so yeah, I guess he's going to be complaining about like green technologies and stuff here. Which, I mean, I guess they're still kind of a thing, but uh, I remember that was like the new gimmick back in like the late 2000s, or early 2010s. Now everything is, is you know, green, but uh, it was kind of new back then. But anyway, let me know, you link to the original video down below, let's jump into it. Let me start off by saying, I'm all for the environment. I live in it, and it's in my best interest to keep it clean. However, what I don't like is the enviro-Nazi propaganda being spewed out by everyone and their mother in order to fear people into going green. Fuck you all. I don't know about you, but I am not so dim-witted that I need to be lectured about the serious ramifications I'm having on the environment. I don't need some uppity, unfocused cunt bitching at me because I bought a cup of coffee in a plastic cup. That will oh remain my God. in a landfill for... The worst is the plastic straws. The fact that they got rid of them. It's honestly probably good. You probably shouldn't be sucking on plastic because, I mean, yeah, microplastics aren't good for you. And it, Some uh, studies show they could, like, lower testosterone. Uh, so maybe, you know, it's a good thing. But, like, the fucking cardboard straws, man. I cannot stand the cardboard straws. Oh, so many places have those now. And it's so irritating. Because if you leave it in your drink for, like, 20 minutes, right? You set your drink down to go do something. And then you come back and the straw's all fucking soggy and falling apart. It's like the most gross thing ever. Thousands of years. And speaking of landfills, that's what most of these lecturing assholes are. Mental landfills eagerly open to anything uh, <laughs> that jumped into their hollow heads just as long as it gives them a mightier than thou feeling yeah. and a sense of a validated existence. Get over yourself. Man, he was so early What's on worse that. Is the mass manufactured shirts for like four year olds that have phrases like go green and stop global warming with a picture of a sweating penguin on it. Way to go. Encourage the purchase of mass manufactured wearable propaganda created by child labor located in some third world country who's spewing out more fumes than a tire fire. Yeah. Thanks little Miss Soccer Mom. Now you can go pick up your go green apparel wearing brats in your gas guzzling SUV. But not before you stop by your best friend's house and talk about how awesome you are because you recycled your newspaper. Prick. <laughs> and speaking of children, having uh, kids is... That's so true. So much of it is so performative. You see this with so many different things, right? Like, um, a, a lot of the, the... The right's bad for this, too, but, uh, you know, probably the most notable versions of this are a lot of the left-wing stuff, right? Whether it be, like, the socialism, right? The, the famous champagne socialists with, you know, their MacBook and their iPad and all of this fucking technology who's, you know... <clears throat> that wouldn't exist without third-world, you know, borderline slave labor... Uh, the, the go green stuff, you know, Foamy nailed it on the head here that, you know, most, they wouldn't be able to even virtue signal this stuff without the massive amounts of, uh, pollutants being put out in third world countries. Um, it's just, yeah, it's all of it. It's so, so much of it is just virtue signaling, right? It, people don't actually want to make change. Most people don't actually want to make change. They just want to appear like they're making change so that they can get like social clout from it, right? It makes them appear to be a better person. They're mo far more worried about appearing to be good than actually being good. It's the worst thing you can do for the environment. Yeah, they're biodegradable, but think about it. You just brought into the world one or two, or in some cases 12, little beings that will consume and waste billions of dollars in valuable resources throughout their lifetime. Think about it. So, the next time you go to lecture someone about their abundant use of resources, Take a look at that picture of ADD Andy and Down Syndrome Donnie. And remember, you fucked the planet more than most just because you couldn't keep your legs closed on prom night. All right? <laughs> of course. If you're really serious about saving the environment. Man, I actually, I str this, it's funny, but I actually strongly disagree with this. One of the things that's really irritating is when the environmentalism stuff gets wrapped up into antinatalism, right? Human capital is the most important thing we have, right? The amount of people especially smart people, right? Which you need more people to have more smart people, right? Those one in a billion geniuses, uh, you know, if you, we have 8 billion people now, so we have eight of those guys walking around, right? You know, uh, a couple decades ago, we only had seven. A couple decades before that, six. You know, by the time, you, I think it was, was it 1940? When, we, when did we pass a billion people? I, can't, I think it was like the 1800, late 1800s, right? So you keep going back and it's, you know, those people are rarer and rarer. And the innovations created by those people are f going to be what allows us to get past this, right? If we need, if we want to get past this, you know, bottleneck of the environmentalism and stuff like that, we need to 
actually be having more people as counterintuitive as it might sound, especially right now with the birthing birth rate crisis that almost every advanced industrialized country has. Um, you know, the Western countries would not have popular. For example, Canada, my country, has not had an above replacement rate birth rate since 1972, the year that my dad was born, was the last year that they had an above replacement rate birth rate. Despite that, the population of the country has doubled, right? And that's entirely because, well, one, you have not as many people dying, right? People tend to live longer, not die as much as children anymore, stuff like that. But then two is just immigration, right? And that's basically been the West solution since the 60s and 70s is just bring in immigrants. The problem is, one, obviously that causes a lot of, you know, social issues in those countries, as we can see by all the, you know, social issues that we have now because of, you know, all these populations. Once a democracy becomes multi-ethnic, it's no longer uh, a democracy. It's just a racial headcount. Uh, but two, the other thing is just if we're just, if we even assume that they were all the same, that all these people were the same, there's not going to be any racial conflict or, you know, religious conflict or anything, right? We assume they were all the same. That only works until those other countries become developed, which they have been becoming developed, and then they start to have the birth rate crisis, right? China's starting to have it. I mean, well, China's been having it for a while now. Japan has it for a while now. Korea has it for a while now. You're starting to see the birth rate rapidly decline in Africa and especially India. I believe India, uh, I think it was last year, just had <clears throat> their birth rate for the first time go below replacement rate, um, despite the fact that I think it was a decade and a half ago it was the birth rate was like eight children per woman. I'm going to double check that. Let me see. Um, Indian birth rate. Oh, my headphone fell out. Uh, so yeah, India is as of 2021 is the newest data they have on Google. It is just above replacement rate, which means it's probably lower now because it's dropping by yeah 0. 0.5 to 0. 0.2 per <clears throat> uh, per year. So it's probably like a 1.9 now. Okay. And then you go back to uh, the 1960s and the 1970s, and it's just below six, right? So they went from a birth rate where, you know, they were well above replacement rates, and now they're probably below replacement rate. They, you know, they're if the trend continued after uh, 2021, India is officially below replacement rate as of 2022. Um, and yeah, it's th this is just getting worse in a lot of these countries. So, you know. Uh, and yeah, look at Korea. Korea's is just abysmal, right? Korea was the same as India in the 60s. And, you know, the U.S. was pretty high, too, but they, they were already industrialized, obviously, so theirs was a bit lower. And then by the, now you get to, like, the current era, and Korea is 0.8, right? That's insane. That means that their population is going to have, like, every 20 years, starting in probably about 15 or 20 years, population is going to have. That's insane. Anyway. I mean, you can only sacrifice your children to the goddess of nature. Oh. What the fuck? But, in all Why seriousness, so thick now? most people aren't that committed. Which is just lame. So, until then, I don't want to hear shit about my fucking little plastic coffee cups. Alright? Nothing. On a similar note, though, how come environmentalists don't just kill themselves in a mass suicide protest? I mean, no one should know more about the impact people have on the planet than they do, right? Uh, that's that's one of the funny thing about antinatalists in general, right? So I actually have more respect for the antinatalists that don't have kids. As annoying and cringy as they are, at least they put their money where their mouth is. The really annoying ones are when you have these billionaires who have like eight kids, right? And they talk about how like we need to get the birth rate down. Like, what's Bill Gates? How many uh, Bill Gates children? I'm pretty sure he has like. Uh, so yeah, Bill Gates has three children, right? So him and his wife are above replacement rate themselves, right? 1.5 kids each to replace them. Despite that, he talks about how we need to get the birth rate down. Although he has kind of changed his tune recently. Uh, he, he did an interview, I think it was last year, talking about the birth rate crisis, which was actually really surprising because for the last 20 years, he wouldn't shut up about overpopulation, right? But yeah. It's funny how many of these like rich multimillionaire, multi-billionaire people say the birth rate's too high, and then it's like, oh, how many kids do you have? Oh, I have six. I have ten. It's like, oh, okay. So what you mean is that the proles are having too many kids? Right. If people are causing all the problems, then logic would dictate we need less people. So if you're an environmentalist and you don't kill yourself, you're just being selfish. Just by being alive, you are killing the planet. You can't go green if you're breathing. End of discussion. Resource wasting bastards. Mm. 
Go green. Go green. What do you mean? I think you broke your brain because there's no such thing. Yeah. Go green. Uh, that's another thing I find ironic is, like, the, the idea that we're killing the planet. No, the planet will be fine. Life will live on, you know. Evolution will happen. Um, certain species will thrive. Others will die off, right? That's what's happened historically, right? We've had multiple great extinctions. Uh, just that we know about, there's been, like, I think five, maybe six, and there's probably others that we just don't have in the fossil record because the the way that fossils uh are able to, you know, the conditions that are necessary for fossils to survive in, right, means that we're missing a large percentage of the fossil record. But the, you know, mass extinctions happen multiple times on our planet's history. Life always finds a way, life survives. Life will continue to find a way and survive. When people talk about uh, destroying the planet, destroying Mother Nature, it's like we're making it inhospitable for humans. We're not making it inhospitable for life. Which is one of the things I always find ironic when they when they talk about this because they're like humans are so evil we're, you know we're so worried about ourselves we're destroying the planet for everything else it's like no we're you're you're just as worried if not more worried about yourself that, than anyone else because life will find a way humans might not be that life but life will find a way but anyway let me know what you think below like comment subscribe I'll see you guys in the next one.